in an aircraft. And uh, first of all, the static induction system will open some few systems. So induction system, here we have the induction manifold that brings in fuel and air mixture into the cylinder. So for the fuel and air to be uh, metered, we have a carburetor. So this is a pressure carburetor, and the pressure carburetor has got layers. The layers in this pressure carburetor are uh, the chambers A, B, C, D. So we have here chamber D, where fuel comes in, and uh, here we have a diaphragm. Uh, we have a diaphragm, and uh, the diaphragm inside there's a spring. So there's chamber A air and there's chamber B air. So the difference between <coughs> chamber A, chamber A is an impact air, then we have venturi air. So the difference between impact and venturi, we lift off this poppet valve. And the poppet valve will allow fuel to come from chamber D, uh, from chamber E, which is the pump fuel, oh. to chamber D. Once it comes to chamber D, then the position of the throttle will balance it and give you chamber C fuel, which now will come through the manifold, already atomized and mixed with air, and then the inlet valve through uh, the inlet valve through a connecting rod. We have a con we have a, a camshaft, so the camshaft will hit onto the push rod, push rod. and the push rod will push the, the rocker arm. The rocker arm will squeeze the spring, and then the inlet valve will open. Fuel air mixture comes in. The piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center. In that case, the volume of the cylinder air increases. Then, after that, the inlet valve and the outlet valve closes. The piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center. When the piston is 20 to 35 degrees center, then the spark plug releases spark. At that time, both the inlet and the outlet valves are closed. Then combustion takes place, pressure increases, the piston moves from top bed center to bottom bed center, and that is what we call the power stroke. Power stroke. After the power stroke, then the outlet valve opens where the, uh, the camshaft through will push the push rod, and the push rod through the rocker arm will open the outlet valve then the exhaust, the exhaust air comes out. So that is called one, one cycle and it is known as auto cycle. Now, once the cycle has happened, we will have assumed that the operation, one operation cycle is complete, we begin the other one. Now you can see we have four cylinders and in each cylinder there is the piston, the piston rings are inside, we have the cylinder head, cylinder barrel, then we have a starter motor at this point. So starter motor begins the rotation of the crankshaft and then once the rotation of the crankshaft begins, as the piston moves from the top dead center to bottom dead center, it sanctions air. That is what Emmanuel was calling sanction. Then this engine is pulled through two principles. One, it is uh, using the liquid, where we have the liquid coolant system and also we have the cylinder fins which are used to, use to cool the engine. Using air. Using air. Any other question on this engine? No, sir. Any other question? Okay, if you've understood the operation principle of all other parts of the engine, then that is what it's all about.